Hello, I am setting up, waiting. That one, yes. Okay, I cannot remember. Um, to adjust everything uh, <laughs> I actually cannot remember the number that this is so. yeah hello everyone hello nice to see you I'm still setting up even though I had plenty of time to do it earlier uh, <laughs> I guess because it's less awkward than just standing around waiting for people to arrive. Um, ooh, yikes. This is absolutely not awkward at all. Um, <laughs> hello, welcome to the show. <clears throat> I'm Elijah, I am 17 years old and I live in Brisbane. I play a bunch of things, I write a bunch of things, there's a musical once, but stop turning but it's mostly just songs at the moment sorry my lyrics do not like me right now and i advocate for people like myself who don't align with societal norms the last couple of days have been pretty hectic for me and i'll be honest i am going to be very happy to relax after this is done but it's so it's been pretty fun um i spent a couple days with some close friends and i did an interview for a uni degree a uni degree that i am really hoping i get into fingers crossed now this is a song that i said i would do last concert and then didn't so my bad completely forgot to do this one even though i kind of advertised it. For those of you who haven't read or seen The Tempest, it's very good. I would recommend The Globes production if you can find it. When I was studying it, I connected particularly heavily with Ariel, an air spirit who is under the control of the magician Prospero. Ariel, throughout the play, laments his lack of freedom, having spent around 30 years or so either imprisoned in a tree or enslaved and finally gains his lost freedom um, at the end of the play. I'm not entirely sure why I'm drawn to him. I Maybe it's the androgyny, maybe it's the, maybe I drew a connection between his freedom and my coming out. I think I just decided Ariel is non-binary, which yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a valid reading. Some, you know, scholars probably done that. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, this is a song I wrote about him, uncreatively titled Ariel.
because it was being very rude to me. <laughs> For anyone who is just tuned in, um, hello. Uh, thank you for being here. Don't worry if you missed that first song. I will be uploading this later to my YouTube channel, so you can watch it then. Um, you can check out my channel by searching Elijah Harper Music on YouTube, three separate words, or the link to my most recent concert is in my bio, so you can check that out at your leisure. Um, and it will soon be this concert. I've done this spiel a lot. <laughs> really hope this one doesn't turn on its own, because otherwise I might have to turn off the fan and it's very hot. Um, this next song is one I posted about yesterday. I wrote it a couple of years ago, and it's got the first hints of all the growth I've done this year. I was at a point when I wrote this where I was only out to a few close friends and I was scared to death of having to deal with telling other people and the world at large, but <laughs> as much as I wrote about looking in the mirror and seeing someone that I don't recognize, I also wrote about you know, being able to hold on until I'm out of school and look to the future to where I'm confident enough to be on myself and that's the chorus of this song it's you know the most constant bit um and I'm there now and I'm really proud of who I am this song is called looking back probably should have retuned uh it's fine
Thank you. Uh, I never thought I'd actually play that. Ugh. Uh, thank you so much for coming. It means so much to me that you're here. I absolutely would not be able to do any of this without your support. Uh, if you would like to rewatch this concert, I will be uploading it to my YouTube channel as soon as I can. So that's Elijah Harper Music on YouTube. That's just three separate words. Uh, if you like my music, please consider telling your friends, perhaps. Um, thank you. It'll be a massive help. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will be live here again in two weeks. So that'll be the 12th of December. Oh, God, it's December. Uh, depending on how things go... Once again, thank you so much for coming, and I will see you next time. Bye!